What better way to prepare for the demands of an international pageant than to tap into one of the country's most famous winners for her strategy? Annaline Bacon won in London in 1974. What an honor to meet you. Thank you so much. Also, okay. let's go and have a bit of lunch. Oh, okay. The Table Bay Hotel hosted a special lunch for Tatum and Annaline to swap advice about sash power and celebrity pressure. Now, Adeline, you won the 1973 Miss World title by default, so you didn't quite have your crowning moment. No, I didn't. I was only crowned, I think, about a week after. Fortunately, the girl that won, which was Miss UK, she had a baby and she had to give up her crown and they offered it to me. It was really a huge trauma for me to decide. At the end, I, I took it and I enjoyed it and it was a wonderful experience. And today I'm very pleased that I made the decision to take it. Her win was world news, putting huge pressure on the 19-year-old from Wittbank. How does one prepare for an international pageant? Well, it's quite different, I think, today from when it was, uh, what, 35 years ago. Today, with all the technology and the internet, I think it's a lot of pressure on you, especially. <laughs> for me, what was important to be open, to not to be too nervous to try new things and um, just experience life, you know? And that's important, I think. Great, thank you. Tatum, do you have your butterflies flying in formation yet? The butterflies are definitely there. I am feeling slightly nervous, but I think they're starting to fly in sync now. So I think I'm going to be fine. And, you know, I work well under pressure, so I'm using that nervous energy to kind of give me a bit of um, competitive edge and just help me to push to do my best. I mean, do you still have the dresses that you wore to this world? Yes, indeed, I do have it. And uh, it would be great if you would try it on for good luck, huh? I'd love to. What a great omen. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Let's go. With not a stitch out of place, Annaline's gowns are still showstoppers. This was a traditional dress. Oh, wow. wow. That's beautiful. It was gold. And this is the cape that I wore over it. Look oh, at that. And it's got all uh, Krugerrands and they had to get special permission from the Reserve Bank to make wow. these copies. To make these copies. Hey, so I think we're going shopping afterwards. There you are. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> then for the evening, oh. on stage, oh. it was diamonds. Oh, that wow. was beautiful. And that was the dress that I wore. And it's a very heavy dress, so it really looked beautiful on stage. You know, as you walked, it just sort of kicked out. And, oh. Great. Well, I think it's time to try it on. Oh, oh can't wait to see. So Okay, perfect. It all comes down to sequence and stage strategy. <gasps> Don't be oh my word. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. It just uh, it absolutely fits you like a glove. It's a sign. Going for gold, darling. Uh, all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now this is really, really impressive. Oh, look at how that moves. Despite Tatum's five centimeter height difference, the original Rita Petula's gowns were both a perfect fit. Yes. <laughs> I love it. She can't help but feel beautiful in it. <laughs> A symphony of mint and silver, silk chiffon and chantilly lace, Charlene Salomon's design for this year is sheer glamour. We wanted to capitalise on her gorgeous features, her long legs, her beautiful frame. Um, we've created a dress with lots of drama, beautiful lines, um, shape, texture. We've used lots of Swarovski crystals, the finest lace, silk. This is a dress that will just move beautifully on the stage and catch the judges' attention. And the expected 600 million television viewers sent to watch the pageant. I mean, I think we actually have our Miss Universe right here. I think so. I think she will definitely win. And I think the most amazing thing is that colour of that dress is so beautiful. But she should go and put it now in the cupboard and not wear it again. So the day that you wear it, that it's fresh and beautiful and she feels like a million dollars. This is one of Tatum's last chances to relax, and Chef Dallas Orr prepared a medley of seafood dishes with a soup saw of spice. Couture cuisine for his three celebrity guests. For starters for you, I have oysters, uh, which is Annaline's favorite, but obviously I've added a twist to that, being my pepper sorbet. And then for main course, we have a Thai dish, which is Tatum's favorite. At the 2009 pageant, Tatum is one of only 14 contestants who are 25 or older. It's one competition where experience and maturity will be to her advantage as the pressure mounts. 
the finalists are constantly under the spotlight for several days. So Satan, how are you preparing for the Miss Universe pageant? You know, I think out of all the preparation that one could possibly do for a pageant, the most important thing is to be mentally prepared. Um, just to have that self-confidence there and, and, the, and the focus as well so that when I get to the Bahamas um, and I'm standing with 90 other beautiful women from all around the world, my self-confidence and focus is not shaken. Hindsight's valuable, but it's also the experience itself that counts. Well, should Tatum win, what advice do you have for her on coping with it gracefully, as you have? Well, I think if she will win. <laughs> and I think it will be a wonderful experience for her. And even if she doesn't, I think there is fantastic moments that you can take from it. There's great opportunities, great doors that will open for her. And of course, the important thing is that it's happened to you and nobody else. Just enjoy it, you know? Great, thank you. The 58th Miss Universe pageant is to be held at the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort, where Miss Universe 2008 Diana Mendoza from Venezuela will crown her successor. Watch out for Tatum Keshwa in a 